We always tell our kids that books and reading are good for them. But have we really thought about it? What do young adults get out of reading novels? What do children get from reading fairy tales and being read to? Does reading matter? I'm Damsel Gale. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Somte. I read books related to adventure. My favorite book is Demigods and Magicians. The book is about heroes from two of Rick Rodian's most successful series coming together to stop a crazed saucer. My name is Solam Zunsa Sharp. I'm 11 and a half years old. I study in Rinchen Kinfun Primary School and currently I'm studying in Grade 6, Section F. I am from Thimpu, Changanka. I read mostly Journey Moose Stilton books, but I sometimes enjoy reading Diary of the Wimpy Kid. I like that book due to its color. The writing is in different shapes and sizes and I really enjoy reading that book. I've read it over three times because it's so interesting. My name is Ugen Kinga Pinso. I am 10 years old. I study here in Rinchen Kinfen. I am in Class 6C. My village is Puraka. My favorite book is Jenny Musilton's book. My favorite book contains adventures, pictures, and problem solving. My name is Sonchik Dendo. I am 11 years old. I am from Nchin Kimfen Primary School. I am in class 6. And my village is in Changetapu. My favorite book is Thea Sultan and the Dancing Shadows. It teaches us how to be a great detective and a great dancer. And it's a great book because it has so many mysteries to solve. I've learned that imagination has no stop. It lets my imagination expand, so I like that book. I learn to think before acting. I learn from that book how to make good friends and trust your friends. Welcome to our show I Read. Reading is the gateway to learning, opening doors to faraway adventures, new possibilities and promising futures. Without strong reading skills, children will face a host of difficult challenges throughout their lives. That's why we know that reading matters. With that, we'll be going to the first segment of our show, The Book Talk, where the children will be talking about their favorite book. So have you all brought your favorite book? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so we'll start with Sonam. Can you tell me about your favorite book and why you like the book? My favorite book name is Journey with Stilton. My scheme is Stay Strong Journey War. I like this book because it is adventurous, in, involves dragons, and it has mystical, fantastic, fantastic creatures. So do you have any favorite character from the book? Uh, no, all are nice characters. Okay, all are nice characters. What about you? Sonam, we can call you Sonam too because your name is also Sonam, right? So tell me about your favorite book. My favorite book is about Thea Stelton and the Dancing Shadows. And why do you like the book? Why is this book your favorite? I love this book because it has so much adventures and it teaches you how to be a great detective and a great dancer. Do you like dancing too? Yes. So you like the book because there is dancing and then being a good leader, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll move on to Ugen. Can you talk about your favorite book? My favorite book is Geronimo Silton, Space Mice Galactic Goal. Mm -hmm. And why do you like this book? Because it consists of aliens, mm -hmm. aliens and fascinating technology. Okay, so what do you want to become when you grow up? Scientist. So you like this book because it has a lot about science, right? Because there are aliens and they're, they're going to talk about the space and everything. So you want to be a scientist and you like a science book. It's like a more of a science story book. That's nice. What about you? I like the book Demigods and Magicians because the book involves Rick Rodian's most successful series, mm -hmm. the Percy Jackson series and the Kane Chronicles series. Who is the main character from your book? The main characters of this book are the, the two demigods and the two magicians. And which one do you like? I like the demigods better. You like the demigods better. Yes. Why? Why do you say so? 
I like the demigods better because uh, they consist of one of my favorite mythologies. Mm -hmm. So Ugen, if you were given a chance to change the ending of the story, the book that you, your favorite book, ending of, of your favorite book, how would you change the ending? Would you like to change the ending or do you like, like it as it is? Keep it as it is. Why do you say that? Because it is more interesting. It is more interesting that way. What about you, Sona? What is the favorite part from your book? My favorite part of the book is when they find out the thief and culprit and show everyone who is the real culprit. The climax is your favorite part from the book? Yes, ma'am. Do you mean that? Yes. Okay, we move on to Sonam. If you were given a chance and let's say that you have been given the opportunity to create, this, create your favorite book into a movie, how would you direct it? What changes will you bring and how would you end it? I would make the movie interesting, mm -hmm. uh, make a little bit of, make a little changes so that the book becomes more interesting and it becomes more entertaining. Sonam 1, Sonam 2 and Ugen, you share the same author. Your favorite books are from the same author. What do you like about that author? Can Sonam start? I like about the author because he wrote the most fantastic book we all have ever read, Jenny Moore and Thea Stelton books show us so much adventures which we can sometimes do it in our life. What about you, Sonam? I like the author because the books are really interesting. The words are, the pictures have color, the words are written in different shapes and sizes. So it makes really, it's like really fun to read. Mm -hmm. So you like illustration in books, right? Yeah. It, it gives you the idea of art and illustration. Yeah, I don't like plain books. You know, you don't like plain books. Yeah, rightly said, because some people don't like reading books that are thick and then have no, color no colors and, and, and art. Pictures. It's a very interesting yeah. thing. Yeah, it can motivate other children to read too, because if the book is colorful, it looks fun. It looks fun to read. I think it's a very important point that you highlighted, that you love reading books that contains a lot of art and illustrations. What about you again? What do you like about the author? I like about the author that he has a creative mind. He has a creative mind. Are you creative? Mm, might. Might be. Do you think that reading makes you more creative? It gives us idea to do something else, other change our ways. Mm -hmm. With that, we come to the end of our first segment, Book Talk. It was really interesting to listen to what the children has to say about their favorite book, who their favorite authors are, who their favorite characters are. It was really nice knowing that. A great activity to get kids excited about reading is to lend or exchange books with other readers near you. And likewise, one of the best parts of the book exchange is that you get new books. Allow your horizons to be expanded by reading many books possible. Catch up on the latest from an author you love so you can chat with your friend about it. With that, we come to the next segment of our show, The Book Friend, where we will make the children exchange books amongst themselves. So, so now we'll start with you. I'd like to exchange my book with Ugin because his book seems interesting and I'm going to give him my book. It's all about mice kings and dragons, so I hope he enjoys the book. Please take care of my book. Thank you. I will take care of the book, Sonam. My book is Space Mice. It is all about aliens playing soccer. Thank you for your book. I hope that you both enjoy reading each other's books, okay? But take, care, take good care of your books. Denzel, who do you want to exchange your book with? With Sonam too, because, um, and by the way, please take care of my book. It is about demigods and magicians. Thank you. I would really take care of it. I hope you also enjoy my book. My book is about mysteries and dancing. That was really interesting to see you exchange your books. I hope that you all will take care of the books that you have taken. You can exchange your books with other friends and then tell them to talk about their favorite book. You'll get to learn more. You'll get to explore more. So not just here. Will you promise me to exchange your books to other friends and then get books from them too? We promise. We promise to. Okay, with that, we come to the end of the segment Book Friend, where we made all the children exchange books among themselves. And we also made them promise that they will exchange more books with other friends and learn more. Looking for some reading challenges? You're doing a reading challenge because you love reading. Reading challenges are a great tool for deepening your reading. But doing a reading challenge? should not be stressful or diminish the joy you get from reading. Here comes our book challenge segment. I 
I challenged myself to read more books. Instead of just reading English books, I also think I should read Zonka because I feel like our country is forgetting our traditions. What about you, Sona? What do you challenge yourself to do? I challenge myself I will, I'll borrow some of the books from my friends and read more and more so I can help our country. Mm -hmm. I challenge myself to exchange books from friends, neighbors and people who I know to improve my reading learning and imagining skills. Mm -hmm. I challenge myself to read at least over seven books this month. I think that it is very important to give challenges to yourself, to prove yourself what you can do. I challenge myself to read for an hour every day. What makes an avid reader? Anything to motivate children is good. The best way to reward children for reading is to give them more books and time to read them. You don't need incentives if you have good books. Anything that helps to put a child's nose in a book is good. Really, reading is the reward. When we think of reading, most of us immediately think of stories, especially books. But there are many other types of reading materials that children can use to practice their reading skills. Which brings us to the next segment, Showtime. You will most always write the essay in chronological order. Compose a thesis statement that clearly states your topic. I spend my free time in libraries by finding books that have information on the human body or essay writing skills. My hobby influences the choice of friends I have. Apart from reading, my other hobbies are coloring books. I like doing origami. Apart from reading and free time drawing, I look at objects and find some ideas and then I draw them. And drawing makes me feel cool down and I like it. Other than reading, I have another hobby chatting with my friends. I spend my free time chatting with my friends about games and videos. Is 
Is your tongue tired yet? It's not often that a book literally tears a kid to read it out loud. There's just something inherently fun about tongue twisters. They are silly and nonsensical, but they still manage to make you smile. So let's have some fun. This is the segment, Can You? Do you know any tongue twisters? Mm, no. Not. No? But then have you heard about tongue twisters? Yes. She sells seashells on the sh seashore. Sit set in the sun singing silly songs. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Sandy saw seven seals at the seashore. Ma'am, could you also try saying a tongue twister? Well, that's a challenge, but yes, I'll try it. Um, Susie... Su uh, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop. Where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Well, that was really fun, right, tongue twisters? It's very important to learn about tongue twisters. Try practicing tongue twisters because it helps in your pronunciation. Whenever you go to your school, make it a point that you make a game of tongue twisters. Maybe you can tell your friends to learn a couple of tongue twisters and you can learn a couple of tongue twisters and have a competition. So Nam can ask again to compete with you and then ask him to bring in tongue twisters and you can have a battle of tongue twisters. Can you do that? Will you promise me to practice more tongue twisters? We yes. promise. Because it's very important, right? Do you think that tongue twisters are important? Yes. Yes, tongue twisters are important, okay? With that, we come to the end of our segment, Can You? Want to finish more books? Read every day. This helps make reading a habit. Read books that you actually enjoy reading. Here are some book tips. I'd love to become an author or a writer because reading books has inspired me to inspire other people. So I'd love to become an author or a writer. I told you no, I'll, I'll read it under three days and it's barely been three days right now. Okay, good, good. Uh, what do you think uh, is the most important point that the author is trying to tell through this story, book? Well, not to be lazy because you saw, you see this guy? Mm -hmm. His friend is like really active and this guy is not active at all. Okay. So like this, his friend wanted like, she said, you're out of shape. And then she took him on high mount, mighty Mount Kilimanjaro, but actually he didn't want to go. He forced him to go. Okay. Any truly great writer also needs to be a voracious reader. Your favorite author probably has a list of favorite authors who also have a list of favorite authors and so on. It therefore translates that a successful author would have something fascinating to share about the art of reading. Let's take a look at a writer's profile. Hi, this is Chadurongmo. My journey as a writer is four years old. I started in 2014. Out of the 14 books, three are novels and uh, the rest are all books for children. I feel writing has been a magical journey for me because then I can create my own universe. I can create the people I want to talk to. It's a magic, magical world. I feel Lama has been the most blessed book. It has been well received by the audience. It was published in 2015. Since then, 
people have still been showering their love on it. They are still asking for it, they are still remembering it, they are still reading it. So Lama has been the most blessed book of all. It depends on where I am, it depends on what I'm holding. Sometimes like I might be holding my phone, I might be fiddling my phone and then an idea strikes me so I just type it there. Sometimes I might be working on my computer and then the idea strikes me and I type it on the computer. Sometimes I may not be having either my computer or my phone, I would be outside. So then maybe I would take up a pen and a notepad that I might be carrying in my handbag and I write it there. It depends on the idea and where it strikes, not really on the devices that I use. Research is very important. Uh, to give you an example, when I was uh, writing Ketsi, uh, the protagonist is an anim. Um, and I really don't know what an anim's life is like. So to do that, I needed to go to a gimba. I needed to see what life in gimba is really like. And I had to keep on asking people who are staying there in the gimba, their kind of life, their daily rituals, their timetable, their schedule, the whole thing. And that's how Kitsi came alive. I mean, like, if you don't do a proper research on the subject that you are writing about, it doesn't come alive then. To tell you the truth, I think it's about time I discovered my purpose, I said. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of great things in my life. Writing is a magical journey, like I've been saying. Initially, when you get started, you have this fear that, am I doing the right thing? But trust me, once you begin telling a story, you cannot help but create stories and write. As of now, in our country, writing is a new career. People don't appreciate much of what we are doing, but that shouldn't deter us. We should uh, keep writing and make people believe in the stories that we want to tell them. Read everything you can get your hands on. Read until words become your friends. After you finish reading a book, you can mail us your feedback on how the book helped you at iread at pbs.bt or you can visit our Facebook page iread. See you next time.